I'm going to vote right now. I'm not telling you who I'm voting for. Because this is not, I have the right to keep that to myself. But um, I am pulling up to the polling place right now. And it's kind of crowded. So, let's see. I have Lee with me. I uh, was gonna wait for the hubby to come home. We were gonna switch off, but he is getting pictures developed. He's getting her pictures developed today. Or he's trying to. I've been emailing him all morning and he can't click on the file. So we're probably gonna have to do it where um, I put it on a zip drive and then take it over to the picture place or Target or whoever. It's okay, I'm gonna go in now. Yeah. You gonna vote today? Mm -hmm. Today. Yeah, I, I just left out of the post office um so I got that taken care of yay I got my application for my examination sent off yay so I applied to do e-licensing, which is their online system. So once they receive my paperwork and my payment for the exam and everything, they are going to set it up on e-licensing where I can just go on there, check to see if the status and if they've received it. And then that's all I have to do is schedule an exam. They'll give me a bunch of dates that are available and then I just pick one. So I'm really excited that I got that done. That's, you guys don't even understand. I've been working towards this since, well I first started when I first got my real estate license, my salesperson's license. I initially started taking all of the broker's classes. The law changed. I could no longer get my broker's license with just an undergrad. They changed the law. In order to get the broker's license, you have to have undergrad in at least a real estate major and then if you don't have that you have to have a minor in a real estate which I didn't my my major was communications and when I found that the law had changed I went ahead and took five classes and then I tried to finish all eight I figured well I might as well just finish all of them and then when it comes time for me to be able to take the broker's exam I can the new requirements are if you're going to surpass experience you have to have a four years undergrad degree with a real estate major or you have to have at least minored in real estate um, if that's not the case, then you have to have two years full-time experience in real estate and you have to get your broker to sign off on that and then you can also qualify. If that's not the case, then you have to have a, at least within the last five years be able to prove that you have had two years or some type of full-time experience beyond two years in real estate. I had to wait the two years. The two years came in February of this year. I had my daughter in January, so I still kind of was like, okay should I do it should I not do it like what should I do and then I went to go get my taxes done and my tax lady was like she was like what are you guys waiting on like you need to get your broker's license are you crazy get it I was gonna do it but then she propelled me to go back and take the remaining classes which were three classes and that was real estate economics real estate escrow and principles and real estate legal ethics legal and ethics I think it's called ethics and legal I don't know but um yeah so I finished that and then um, finally got all that stuff sent off so now the pressure's on so I'm gonna uh, really dig in like I did when I was studying for the salesperson exam and just really really crank out those hours and just get some studying in Burgers and Diet Coke. Okay guys, so I'm making tacos tonight. I have red onions, white onions, red bell peppers, mushrooms. I have parsley in there, cilantro, uh, onion powder, garlic salt, cumin, and then I also put some more of the Himalayan salt and rainbow pepper. I'm going to add in this veggie ground beef. I've never used this brand before, Eve's. I usually use Field something. I can't remember the name of it. But I don't know, we'll see, see how it tastes. And then uh, I have the green onion, shredded lettuce, tomato there. I'm gonna cut those up and those are gonna be my toppings. I have some shells now. Last time I used the tortillas, the soft tortillas, but these are shells and they're only made of three ingredients. Limed corn, flour, palm oil, and salt. 
Yeah, that's four ingredients. But anyways, this is who they're by. And they're kind of wide, so you could fit a lot of stuff on there. So I'm excited to see how these are going to taste. All right, there we go. So, these are the La Castaña green chilies, fire roasted. They're diced. I drained them and then I put them inside. It's cooking up. It's pretty much ready. But I love these. These are really, really good. Try these out. They're cheap too. They're like 89 cents. And they just have green chilies, water, iodized salt, citric acid, calcium chloride. So, they're vegan. Yeah, that's about it. Getting ready for dinner, watching the elections, trying to see what's going on. So far, Trump is winning. There's a shooting investigation. There's a shooting in Azusa, California. Very sad. Four people injured. So hopefully everybody survives that. Not sure the details of it. Probably gonna look into it later. This ended up being the turnout. I have the leftover sweet potato from yesterday and then here's the taco with all the lettuce and tomato and that's the tofuti sour cream here. So I'm about to dig in. I just co-washed my hair with the Shea Moisture Low Porosity Conditioner mixed with the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle. And I'm deep conditioning right now with the Strength and Restore. That's also by Shea Moisture. It's the castor oil deep conditioner. But I'm watching the election and Trump's swimming. We're going to have a reality star for our president. Mm -hmm. So I watch TYT. I don't know if you guys could see that, but I watch TYT. We're streaming YouTube on our television because we don't watch TV. <laughs> but um, they do really great coverage of politics in general. If you guys don't watch them, they are called the Young Turks. They're on YouTube. Check them out. Uh, but we're just right now just trying to stay up to date with what's going on. Trying to wait to see who's going to win, but it's looking like it might be Trump. So... <laughs> like 5 45 in the morning right now i tried to stay up for the results to come out for the election but they didn't announce them last night or if they did it was really late and i i couldn't wait up but uh so trump's our president <laughs> i don't even know what to think right now um crazy so we'll see if he can make america great again i don't know 